You know, there is just something so cool about watching a film where a ship crashes into the ground and explodes. So that's why I made this cool little scene. Alright, to begin I filmed myself on a green screen outdoors so I could get the exact same lighting for my blender scene. To start this effect we need to get the correct camera angle and position to match our blender virtual camera with the live action footage. To do that I will use a free program called FSPY. Next in Blender we can import the FSPY data and then the keyed green screen footage of myself. I'll also zoom in the camera a bit so we can pan it around later. Now we gotta make that landscape. So to do that, I'll add a new landscape, make it a large terrain, and then scale it down on the z-axis. From there, I will use this add-on called True Terrain to texture it. To make the sky, I will use another add-on called Physical Starlight and Atmosphere. But you could just use the built-in Blender sky texture for this. I just like the extra customization that the add-on allows. The main thing you gotta do is have the sun's position and rotation match the same position and rotation of the real sun from your live action footage. For me, it was over here on the left and angled up in the sky. To fill out the horizon line, I used another add-on called Alpha Trees, which uses 2D images to create massive forests. I used the same add-on to fill out the landscape with bushes. For the mountains, I got a couple of these pictures from ProductionCrate.com and then imported them using images as planes. What's really cool is the fact that literally everything in the scene so far, apart from the landscape, is a 2D image, which lets the computer run nice and fast. And it all looks pretty good at the moment. Or maybe it doesn't, and I'm just blinded by ego. So, for the ship I'm using this free droid tri-fighter 3D model from Sketchfab, and animating it is really easy. All I did was place it in the ground where I wanted it to crash, set a keyframe, then moved back in the timeline to the start, and moved it up and out of frame. That's it. Then I also animated the camera to follow the ship, only the rotation though, not the position. And under the animation tab, I added some noise modifiers to each axis of rotation to give the camera a handheld feel. Now for the explosions. I used a gas explosion from Action VFX and a couple of dirt ones from ProductionCrate.com. I once again used the images as planes add on to import them making sure that they emit light. I then could simply line them up in my scene so that they cover the ship. Then under the material properties, I can change the start frame of the explosions so that they start when the ship impacts with the ground. I rendered out the shot in three separate layers, the main layer, myself, and then a glow layer. I achieved the glow by making everything a holdout layer, except for the explosion. Then switching the render mode over to Eevee, I used the bloom feature. I also made sure to render that layer using RGB, not RGB alpha. Because if you render it with a transparent background, the glow gets all messed up. Then I composited them all together, setting the glow layer to an add blending mode and blurring it. I also dropped the opacity. And of course added the lightsaber effect on top using the free video copilot saber plugin. And there we have it, a ship crash effect. That's about it, goodbye.